Mr. Teacher, I will give you the honors to get us underway. All right, uh, Sean, uh, we're moving over to the shorter format of the game. Uh, what are some of the lessons that you're taking uh, from the test series? I know it's a totally different format, but uh, playing against some of the Afghan players, especially uh, the, spinner, the spinners, uh, what are some of the lessons you're taking from that? And what are some of the changes we can expect uh, to the team going into the T20 series? Um, I think, obviously, coming from that um, the test series, especially the second one, the fight that was shown by the guys and um, how quickly a game can turn around, especially in T20, you know, just an over a couple of balls can turn that game around, whether it be taking wickets or getting 20 runs plus in that over. So that's, that's something big that we'll be taking into that. Um, and regarding the team, obviously, there's a lot of options. So... You know, obviously, looking at the wicket and, and the spin and um, their batting lineup, um, we, we have the options in Mabuta, um, Mazakadza, um, and then you've also got Richard and Garaba as well. That's also a good option for us. So there's, there's, there's a lot. Um, it's quite a difficult one to select from, um, but also, again, a young side, so, which is good. So we've got the speed, we've got the power, um, and we've got the bowlers to do it. All right. Uh, do I have any hand up? Okay, Mr. Sibanda, Mr. Lee. All right, Sean. Uh, we, 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 we have struggled generally, I mean, against Afghanistan in this uh, this format of the game. I think we, we never, I mean, just once this format of the game Okay, what would it take for us to win the, this uh, this T20 uh, series against Afghanistan? I think it's going to take discipline too. I think um, looking looking at the team planning, the strategies, and and the executions of that are going to be extremely important. Um, it is an afternoon. Both all, all three games are afternoon games, so the sun plays quite a big part in fielding you know, on the one side of the field, but. Uh, that's just that's just something that we cannot control as well. But um, like I said, the disciplines with the ball, with the catching, and with the bat as well. You know, we get off to a good start against them. Um, the game can change quickly, and you know, like I said, with the options that we have, we have Bill, we have um, Rango, and we have Mazakadza. So we have two two wicket taking options um, within two of those bowlers, and also a container as well. Then you still have uh, Wesley, uh, Raza, and myself. So, and then still in Garaba and Blessing, plus Donald. Um, so I, th I think the chances are high. Um, but like I said, going back to the strategy-wise and the planning, it's, it's going to all end up, it's all going to land on execution. All right. Um, who do we have next? Can I go again, Darren? No one else ask a question? Yeah, sure, you can go ahead. Then go after again. You, Metuli, you can ask again, then after you have Simba. Thank you. All right. Uh, Sean, Rashid Khan was a big factor in this in that uh, second test. Uh, uh, do you expect him to to, I mean, to, to play? and Because uh, T20, that's his game. Do you expect him to, to be uh, I mean, a huge factor again in this? Uh, and what are we going to do? What are our best men going to do to make sure that we neutralize him? It, mean, it doesn't give us a hard time like it did in the second test? <laughs> I think he will play, um, definitely. That's his game. And um, I think it's very different compared to the test match. We made him bowl 99.2 overs. So he was very close to 100 overs. He basically bowled for two people in that test match, which is a huge thing for him. And credit's got to go to him for that. So, um, look, he, he, he is carrying an injury at the moment, but I do feel that if our guys, if we look to be aggressive, um, I think we'll put him off his line and length, and um, I think that could be could be a changing factor in the game. Um, and don't forget, there's still Mujib Nabi as well, plus another left arm spinner in there. So all all due respect, but it's a T20 game, like I said. And um, if some of our guys get going uh, up, in, especially up in that power play, it could be a, could be a good start. All right, Sima. Okay, thanks, Sean. Um, thanks, Darlington. Um, you just obviously get into a different uh, format of the game itself. 
And my question is just uh, mainly on the youngsters that you have on the team. Do you think they are being overawed uh, by the grand stage that they are at? Or you think they will be able to cope? What's their, their, um, their mentality towards the game um, going into the T20s? Um, I think they'll be able to cope. Um, I think they're strong enough mentally. I think they've got the skills, definitely. Um, or, they, or, or they wouldn't be here. But um, I, I'm backing them big time, especially in this format of the game where you can play freely. And um, you, you, it's a fast game. There's no, you've got to be thinking on your feet here. So I, I back them. Milton Schumba as well. Wesley, you know, and TK come and come with it. Those, those guys are, they fit, they're strong, they're talented. And yeah, I think, I think they've got what it takes. All right, next we will have uh, Trevor Makonyonga. Then after him, I see Baba Dean Dean Jukesi is in here. Trevor, you can fire away. Uh, thank you very much, darling. Uh, my question is in the camp, number one and two, uh, um, revenge after that uh, uh, fight break in, in, in this T20 series? <laughs> I don't hear that question. Sorry, can you come sorry. again? Okay, my question is, how is the confidence in the camp going into the T20 series, especially after the, um, after the fight break? And also, uh, do you feel some uh, need to sort of revenge after that uh, second test match? Uh, I don't think there's need for revenge. I think there's a need for, for our team to have the will to win and um, get through that mental period, that mental, that, that tough period where things things are always going to be tough on a sporting field. And um, it's how you go about it and how you prepare um, in those situ you, you prepare the, those according to those situations. So um, I think that's that's the main thing that we need to do and concentrate on our own game and our own executions in order to in, in order to win these games. Um, and and in the camp wise, I think if things are going really well. I think things are running smoothly. I think the preparations have been good. Obviously, there hasn't been much time between the test match and the T20s, but um, it's okay. We've got a, a bunch of young guys that, like I said, they're fast. They 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 can run. They can hit the ball hard. Um, and they've got the energy that, that's required for T20 cricket. All right, Dean Dupresi, over to you. Hello, Dean. Uh, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can hear me. I've had terrible, terrible uh, audio network. Problems. We can hear you, Baba Jim. Please proceed. Do you hear me all right, Willie? Yes. Sean, I don't know whether this has been touched on because, as I've just alluded to, I've had some terrible network problems and audio problems, which is why I'm late. Um, in, in, in terms of the top of the order, um, in all likeness, will we possibly be seeing Milton Shumba and Tinashe Kamru Kamwe opening the batting? And if this question has been asked, I do apologize. Uh, it but, hasn't uh, been asked. Yeah, no. the gremlins have been with me this morning. <laughs> yeah, do you, know, do you know, there is the options. Obviously, TK has opened there for us before. So he stands a very good chance in opening up there again for us. Um, we have a lot of options looking up at the top of the order there. I mean, you've even got the likes of Sekanda Raza. You've got the likes of Regis Chakava, um that we can we can play around with and use them as floaters. So, um, you know, th those options are there. Um Getting off to a good start is key, uh, especially looking at their at their team setup um, and the balance of their team is pretty much majority spinner. So, uh, look, I'm expecting to see at least 12 overs of spin from them, um, and that's important for for us to to plan accordingly to that. Um, and preparation wise, we have we have prep for that. Um, I, I obviously, looking at their seamers, they've got they've got a, a lot of options as well. But um, look, I'm going I'm going to take a, a wild shot here and say that they're going to go with the left arm seamer. Um, but yeah, going back to the top of the order, I think that TK stands a very good chance, and um, you know, there's still the likes of Tari as well. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Eh? All right. 
Um, Larry Quirinay. Hello. Seems we're having uh, some issues again with uh, connection. Uh, I will take the last three questions. Methuli, you can go again. All right, Sean, uh, looking at uh, a player like um, Wes Matebere, he's, he struggled in the test series. I mean, he's, he's got an un, 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 un record, which, is, which, I mean, which no one really wants. But uh, going into this uh, T20 uh, series, I mean, he, he, he's, he's really done well for, I mean, for us in Pakistan. And how is his confidence going into this? Uh, and uh, where do you expect him to bet? Are you going to put him up in order there, or are you going to try and bring him down, protect him? I don't know. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the planning there? I don't think there's any need to protect West. I think he, um, he backs where he backs. And um, I think that's where he's earned his spot there in the shorter format of the game. Obviously, he, looking at the test matches for him, he personally had a technical fault. Um, nothing mental at all. Looking at him in the nets here as well, he he's doing really well. He's playing with freedom. He's an exciting player. Um, and it's just all about going him going out there and expressing himself. Um, I fully back him after what he's just been through. I mean, that's that's actually not much considering some of the some of the things that I've seen in Test cricket throughout the years. I think there was a time I saw Ajit Agarka from India get seven in a row. So. You know, three in a row is actually not that bad if you if you think about it. So I fully back the kid. I think he's an exceptional talent and a huge thing for Zimbabwe cricket going forward. Not only him, Milton Shumba, and plus all the other youngsters that are here in this team. I think it's important that that we value all of them, not just a few of them. I think, um, you know, the, obviously the pressures of being valued alone, the, the, it, it, it can be tough that way. But like I say, I think every single... A youngster that's in the setup in the test setup and in the T20 and ODI setups are extremely valuable to Zimbabwe cricket, especially going forward to 2023 World Cup. So, yeah, I think they can all play and I think they all bring different attributes towards the game and towards the short of the format of the game. Thank you, Mr. Uh, the last two questions. All right, I don't see any hand that is up. So I guess that's it, gentlemen. I hope you are happy and I must thank you very much. For this, I'll be sharing the recording um, in a couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you.